Hi students, in the last two classes we discussed the series operation of SCR. Today we will discuss the parallel operation. Whenever the load current requirement is more than the current carrying capacity of a single SCR, two or more SCRs are connected in parallel to form a string. For example, here two SCRs are connected in parallel T1 and T2. Current through SCR1 is I1 and through T2 is I2. And the voltage across the SCRs T1 and T2 are Vt. In parallel connection, it is expected that individual SCRs share load current equally. Means I1 is equal to I2. But due to some various factors, the string efficiency is less than unity. So consider the VI characteristics of two parallel connected SCRs T1 and T2. So this is the characteristics of T1 and this one is the characteristics of T2. For a particular forward voltage drop, V T, we can see that the current flowing through SCR1 that is T1 is I1 and current flowing through T2 is I2. I2 is small compared to I1. This means the current shared by the SCRs are not equal. T1 is carrying more current whereas T2 is carrying less current I2. So we can write the string efficiency eta S is equal to the actual current rating of the whole string. Here it is I1 plus I2 I1 plus I2 divided by individual current rating of one string. So here we are taking I1 into number of SCRs in the string. Here it is 2. So string efficiency is I1 plus I2 divided by 2 into I1 which is less than 100 percentage. So due to this unequal current division when current through the SCR increases its temperature also increases, which in turn decreases the resistance because semiconductors have negative temperature coefficient of resistance. Hence, further increase in current takes place and this is a cumulative process. So, this is the static characteristics of parallel connected SCRs. Now, we will discuss the Dynamic characteristics of parallel connected SCRs. For satisfactory operation of parallel connected SCRs in dynamic condition, they should get turned on and turned off at the same moment. But here, SCRs T1 and T2 shows different turn on and turn off time. Let us assume that T1 has large turn on time where T2 have low turn on time. Under this assumption, T2 will turn on first but T1 is likely to remain off. As a result, T2 will have to share the entire load current. Therefore, T2 is overloaded and damaged because of the heating due to overcurrent. Thus, it is very important that all the SCRs connected in parallel should be operated at equal temperature. To do this, we have to mount them on the same heat sink. So, these are the heat sink and this one is the Unsymmetrical arrangement of SCRs on the heatsink 
and this one is a symmetrical arrangement of SCRs on the heat sink. In unsymmetrical mounting, the middle conductor 2 will have the maximum magnetic flux linkage due to the presence of nearby conductors 1 and 3. This will cause conductor 2 have maximum inductance among the 3 conductors. Therefore, current flowing through the middle conductor 2 will be lower as compared to the remaining conductors 1 and 3. This problem of unequal current sharing due to the unsymmetrical spacing can easily be avoided by mounting all the SCRs symmetrically. The symmetrical mounting will cause equal flux linkage of all the conductors 1, 2 and 3. Therefore, equal inductance. Therefore, the current flow in all the SCRs will be equal. Another way of equalizing current division in AC circuit can be achieved by using magnetic coupled reactants. This one. Here, two coils are connected in anti-parallel. When I1 is equal to I2, then the resultant flux linked with both the coils are zero. That is equal and opposite. Therefore, the resultant flux is zero. So, the inductance of both the part will be same. If I1 greater than I2, then there will be a resultant flux. This flux induces EMF in coil 1 and 2. Hence, current in the path 1 is opposed and current in path 2 is aided by the induced EMF. Because we know that according to Lenz's law, it opposes the cause producing it. Here the cause is change in current. So in order to avoid this change in current, the current in path 1 is opposed and current in path 2 is aided by the induced EMFs. Thus reducing the current difference in the two paths. Thank you.